Hi everyone, my name is Kerry and welcome to Storytime for Adults. Before I begin today, I would like to pay my respects to country. I would like to begin by respectfully acknowledging the traditional custodians on the land in which we meet today. And I pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. The book today is called Robinson Crusoe. It's a classic for a reason. It starts off pretty slowly, so I'm going to start off right at the Bart, where Robinson Crusoe decides to run away from home. Without asking God's blessing or my father's, without any consideration of circumstances or consequences, and in an ill hour, God knows on the 1st of September, 1651, I went on board a ship bound for London. Never any young adventurer's misfortunes, I believe, began sooner or continued longer than mine. The ship was no sooner gotten out of the Humber, but the wind began to blow and the sea to rise in a most frightful manner. And as I had never been at sea before, I was most inexplicably sick in body and terrified in mind. I began now to seriously reflect upon what I had done and how justly I was overtaken by the judgment of heaven for my wicked leaving of my father's house and abandoning my duty. All the good counsel of my parents, my father's tears and my mother's entrees came now fresh into my mind and my conscience, which was not yet come to the pitch of hardness to which it had been since reproached me with the contempt of advice and the breach of my duty to God and my father. All this while the storm increased and the sea, which I had never been upon before, went very high, though nothing like I'd seen many times since, no, nor likewise what I'd saw a few days after, but was enough to affect me then who was but a young sailor and had never known anything of the matter. I expected every wave would have swallowed us up and that every time the sea fell down and as I thought in the trough or hollow of the sea, we would never rise more. And in this agony of mind, I made many vows and resolutions that if it would please God here to spare my life in this one voyage, if I ever got once my foot upon dry land again, I would go directly home to my father and would never set it into a ship again while I lived. That I would take his advice and never run myself into such miseries as these any more. Now I saw plainly the goodness of his observations about the middle station of life and how easy, how comfortably he had lived all of his days and never had been exposed to tempests at sea or troubles on shore. And I resolved that I would, like a true repenting prodigal, go home to my father. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that little taster of Robinson Crusoe. Did you know that most classic stories are actually free of copyright and can be accessed via the World Book or Project Gutenberg? Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments below and we'll catch you next time.